Hi guys, this is Navdeep Singh. Just like clicking this channel. Today we are talking about an application where the applicant has received the visa, but at the airport he got an exclusion order, which means that it's not the end of the story. Once you get the visa, you need to go through scrutiny of the immigration officers at the airport also. Or you need to be better prepared. It happens like people get the visa and, and they tend to be very re relaxed and go without preparation. And when the immigration officers ask the questions. and they're not in a position to answer any questions precisely as you probably know it's it's very important to have a very definite plan and you you must know whatever you have mentioned in the application so that if by chance visa officer asks any question your answers must not contradict to whatever you have mentioned in the visa application so the applicant name is mr manish goel as you can see here in this application manish goel the applicant seeks judicial review of a decision of a minister's delegate the delegate denied applicant's entry to canada and made an exclusion order against the applicant the delegate determined that despite the applicant's representations he was trying to enter on a visa for tourism and the applicant was in fact trying to enter canada for the purpose of work basically mr manish goel was trying to seek an entry into canada purpose of obtaining work or undertake some employment over there when visa officer asked certain question uh, to the applicant the applicant was not in a position to answer any uh, of the questions precisely so as per the analysis of the immigration uh, officer over there so uh, they have denied the entry and made an exclusion order so the applicant was born on july 2nd 1978 and is a and is a citizen of india the applicant is married and has a child under the age of 18 in india in or around 2013 the applicant made inquiries in india about traveling to canada and applicant's narrative he approached a family friend kulwant singh who resided in canada the applicant the applicant ostensibly advised kulwant that he wanted to travel to canada and wanted to bring his wife to canada to visit as well Therefore the applicant applied for the temporary residence visa for his wife which was refused in or around 2013 so it is unclear that the record as to precise dates but at some point the applicant applied for a visitor visa to Canada and he received a TRV for the purpose of visiting Canada on August 11 2018 the applicant flew to Vancouver International Airport and he was coming to canada to visit for 8 days while passing through the customs the applicant was examined by the canada border services agency cbsa officer so the applicant originally expressed to, to the visa officer that he didn't know anyone in canada and that he was coming to canada to visit for 8 days the applicant then changed his story and stated that he was visiting a friend of a friend named Mr. Kulwan Singh this is the first contradiction i think it happened because of some nervousness or something or maybe the applicant was you know so unprepared he was feeling like he has got the visa and he believed that nobody can stop him we need to be better prepared based on this anyway so when pressed the applicant didn't have any definite plans for what he planned to do in canada the only definite the only definite thing he had was a two day motel reservation in surrey that had been booked a day before upon examination the officer further came to know that the applicant had traveled without his wife child and the applicant's wife had previously been denied a trv as it, as the examination was occurring the applicant kept being phoned by an individual named ashish so the applicant initially adamantly stated that the ashish was in dubai but eventually admitted that he lied so with the grounds having developed for a phone examination the officer discovered that the, that the ashish is an immigration consultant when the officer later contacted ashish she claimed not to know the applicant and attempted to distance himself from the entire matter so the officer found in the applicant's suitcase copies of his wife's educational certificates and their marriage certificates so as the investigation progressed the hidden reality was kept on another thing kulwant owns a number of restaurants who was found as a contact on the applicant's phone when kulwant was found kulwant offered an inconsistent story on how he and applicant knew each other Finally the the officer called the applicant's wife in India and the applicant's wife stated that the applicant was in fact coming to Canada to work at Kulwant's restaurant therefore the officer found that on the balance of probability the applicant was inadmissible to enter Canada as a visitor as the applicant was attempting to enter Canada for the purpose of working so whenever you are preparing to enter into Canada if this is the first time for you even if you are going second third fourth time it doesn't matter 
but you always have to be pretty alert and pretty clear with your plans about what you you know would like to do in Canada on your trip this is very important secondly they can do anything they can check your mobile phone they can call whatever the uh, reference that you are giving in Canada to to confirm the story which you basically are putting forward so it is very important to tell them the truth or you must have a very definite story which should be in the sync with the temporary resident uh, regulations the officer found on the balance of probabilities that the applicant was inadmissible to enter canada as a visitor here are the notes of what exactly happened the applicant was offered an opportunity to explain or put forward their side of the story also in front of the delegate so the delegate asked like i have a i have seen the officer's evidence pertaining to the fact that you are coming to canada so the delegate offered an opportunity to the applicant to put forward his or her claims about his side of the story so i've seen the officer's evidence pertaining to the fact that you'll be engaging in the unauthorized employment while in canada you'll have a chance to respond to this evidence as soon as i'm done reading this the officer provided the following as an evidence against you you are seeking entry for the 8 days you originally stated that you didn't know anyone in canada but later recanted that Uh, stated that you are visiting a f- friend of friend named Kulwant Singh. You stated that you only know one contact in Canada. You have a two-day reservation at a motel in Surrey booked one day prior to the departure. You have a limited knowledge of Canada. You are married with a minor child but traveling alone. Uh, your wife was refused a visa. During the examination, a local number named Ashish continuously called you. You stated that Ashish was not in Canada and claimed you only had two contacts in Canada. You later admitted that you had lied and stated that Ashish is actually here in Canada. Your phone revealed that Ashish is an immigration consultant who provided you with a contact named Kulwant Singh who owns a restaurant. Your phone also revealed that you had been requesting work permit application forms and Canadian permanent residency applications. Numerous Canadian contacts were also found on your phone when Ashish and Kulwant Singh were contacted. They made inconsistent statements regarding how you know them and distanced themselves from you. Your wife in India was contacted and stated that you are coming to work for Kulwant's restaurant for as long is needed to support help support the family you denied coming to work in canada when confronted with this evidence so the applicant protested and said the above statement is completely false the applicant submitted the kulwant was a friend so the applicant also said that he was he had a thriving business in india so he had no reason to want to immigrate and work in canada seemingly it's at a false statement anyway so the delegate didn't accept these explanations and issued an exclusion order if you want to read this entire story you can read it but eventually the judicial review of this particular request was dismissed so the analysis done by the uh, cbsc officer was valid and the applicant uh, was deported back to india so this is how it it, it works if you have issued a visa or if you will be issuing a visa you must have a definite plan and that plan must be in sync with whatever you have presented to the visa officer when applying for a visa that has to be definite you have a clear you have to have a clear plan you you must have knowledge you must have envisaged whatever you are going to do in canada so that you can actually tell the uh, immigration officer while uh, encountering at the at the port of entry so you have to be better prepared for it otherwise the consequences could be disastrous thank you so much for your time and i hope you have learned something i'll see you in the next video